we've made many tutorials about audio editing, and we receive a lot of messages asking us how to get smooth transitions from one audio file to another. So today's tutorial will bring you two easy ways to create smooth transitions between audio clips. Okay, let's get the video started. There are many cases we want to add more than one background music to our video if we simply add two different music together. The sudden change might destroy the coherence of the video. Thus, we want to show you how to use crossfeed to merge two audio files seamlessly. In the first place, let's open up the software. Start a new project or open an existing one. Here we need to change the background music. And we want to add a crossfade transition. To get there, firstly, we need to click on the plus icon here to create a new audio track. Then we drag the first audio clip to audio track. Use the ripple edit tool to trim the audio clip to the proper lens. Then add a second audio clip to the second audio track. Give a caution, we should make the second audio clip start before the end of the first one. Next, it's time to add a crossfeed. Use the split tool to add two split points. This can isolate the overlap section from the original audio clips. Then we add a fade out to the end of the first background music. We have two ways to fade out audio. Go to the inspector panel on the top right. Move the fade out slider to the far right. Way number two, click on this segment. Press audio to enter the audio editor. Click on select all, then we click on fade out. We need to apply the same edits for the start of our second background music. That's all for creating an audio crossfeed. This is a commonly used editing trick for editing vlogs. For example, we want the background music to sound louder when we show landscapes. When switching to the talk scene, we turn down the background music. But after the talk scene, we want the background music returns to the original volume. Firstly, let's open up Video Proc Flagger. We can notice here we get a voiceover file. So we want to turn down the background music for this section. If we simply add some split points and adjust the volume for it, we may get a sudden change in volume and it sounds unnatural. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is the captain speaking. Uh, just about ready to depart, we should be away on ship. we can add a fit in or fit out effect to do a smooth volume transition. In the first place, let's add an audio track. Like what we did before, we add a split points to separate a section from the background music. Turn down the volume for this section. Drag this section vertically to the audio track underneath. Then let's take the audio volume transition from high to low. We use the ripple edit tool to increase the duration for the audio clip before the separated section. Then we move the playhead to half a second backward. Use the split tool to separate a small section from this clip. Click on audio to enter the audio editor. Then we press fade out. Click on Apply to return to the main interface. 
After that, we use the ripple edit tool to remove the redundant segment. We've made a smooth volume transition. In the same steps, we can add a smooth audio volume transition from low to high. Alright, I believe you've mastered these two easy ways to make smooth transitions between audio files. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is the captain speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is the captain speaking. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in our next video. Hope you enjoy!